Welcome to the Stillman School's MBA pre-qualifier course on Information Technology Management. This pre-qualifier course provides an introduction to Excel. All the examples that we use in this course use trivial arithmetic and all of these are meant to illustrate Excel and not to serve as arithmetic challenges. So we certainly expect that you will find all the arithmetic that we discuss quite trivial and the goal is not to somehow get the correct answer by writing some formula. Instead we want you to focus on the Excel concepts we cover. The goal is to use the right Excel techniques and we are trying to illustrate the correct Excel techniques and therefore just writing the correct formula to get the arithmetic result correct is not our goal. You've most certainly heard that Excel is a spreadsheet program. So first of all, let's try and understand what is an electronic spreadsheet. An electronic spreadsheet is an electronic version of a paper spreadsheet. So what then is a paper spreadsheet? A paper spreadsheet might look something like this. Uh, this would be an example of a ledger maintained by uh, accountants 30, 40 years ago or uh, just to maintain any other kind of uh, record keeping that people might have used in the days past. So what you see here is there are several columns, there are several rows and uh, you see sets, you know, dates and lots of numbers and so on and there are several computations that are going on based on some of these numbers, right? So these might be used for paper record keeping or it could be used for pro forma computations which means uh, computations that try to forecast the future based on past data. So that is all well and good. First of all, of course, you can see the tedium of maintaining information like this. But even more importantly, when you have to do things like computing totals of, you know, uh, across a particular page or totals even across multiple pages. So that's a challenging task and it's an error prone task. Another problem might be recomputations. Right, so given that some of the computations are based on the numbers in some of these columns, what if we have to go and make a change to one or more of the numbers in a particular uh, position and then that will end up affecting so many of the other computations that we have already made and recomputing something like that for a small change could be a huge task. An electronic spreadsheet program looks pretty much like the paper version transplanted onto a computer. So you can see here just like the paper version this is a spreadsheet program that has several rows, it has several columns except that instead of being a very specific spreadsheet for a specific purpose this is a general purpose spreadsheet. You've got generic column names A, B, C, D, E, F, you've got row names and you can use the spreadsheet for uh, any kind of application that you need. So you can customize this spreadsheet. So that's a general purpose electronic spreadsheet, computer based spreadsheet program and that's what it looks like. So obviously because it's running on a computer, it can be much, much bigger than the paper version in the sense that it can have uh, millions of rows and it can have hundreds of columns. Most of the time we don't create spreadsheets which are that big but it's available for you to use. And it's much, much faster, obviously, because it's computer based. And it's also faster because you can make a change and the ramifications of that change are immediately computed by the computer. We don't have to uh, recompute it by hand. So that's really advantageous. And it's also very versatile. As I had already mentioned before, this is a general purpose spreadsheet that we can adapt to any of our specific requirements. And of course, the purpose of this course is to teach you precisely how to take a general spreadsheet program like this and adapt it to various applications or various purposes for which we may be doing computations. So electronic spreadsheet programs of course like other computer programs have evolved over time and uh, many of you may not be aware but there was a time in computing when computers did not have graphical user interfaces. Today, of course, we are all used to interacting with computers uh, with a graphical screen. We see what's going on on a graphical screen and then we use the mouse and a keyboard to interact with contents on that graphical screen. But that's not 
how computers always were. There was a time when computers were actually pre-graphical user interfaces uh, in the sense that you did not interact with a computer from with a, you know, through a keyboard and a mouse. Instead, you interacted with a computer by uh, giving the commands to the computer on punched cards or other uh, media. We need not get into that. Uh, just to be complete, I'm just giving you a history of how modern spreadsheet programs have evolved. So in the pre-computer age, in fact, way back in 1961, there was this program called Batch Report Generator. And then later on in 68 came a program called Auto Plan or Auto Tab. And then in 1969, there was another program called LANPAR. And in 76, IBM created this program called Financial Planning and Control Systems. And in 1976, again, there was another program called Adplot. In the late 70s, we started seeing modern microcomputers emerging. And these microcomputers, unlike their predecessors, these computers had graphical user interfaces, which means that they looked like somewhat like today's computers with a screen and a mouse and keyboard through which you could interact with the computer and you could see uh, live what was happening as you were interacting with the program. The very first spreadsheet program which happened to uh, arise in this modern era was a program called VisiCalc. VisiCalc was a truly revolutionary program and in fact it forms the uh, the template for all subsequent spreadsheet programs. Uh, the inventor of this uh, unfortunately did not patent the idea and probably missed out on making a lot of money. But VisiCalc was a truly revolutionary program and then came other programs like SuperCalc and a program called Lotus123 and Lotus123 was a program that uh, was really very popular and it was the de facto spreadsheet program for several years. And then in 1985, Microsoft actually made a very weak effort and created its spreadsheet program called Excel. At that point in time, Excel was no competition for Lotus 123. And in fact, later on in 1989, there came out another program called Quattro Pro, which was also an extremely powerful spreadsheet program, extremely fast and very versatile. Uh, so around the late 80s, we actually had a scenario where there were three very popular spreadsheet programs that people were using. Uh, but slowly, of course, we know that because of its dominance in operating systems, Microsoft emerged as a very dominant player in general on the micro on uh, uh, microcomputers, that is uh, small computer platforms, and was able to improve uh, Excel quite uh, considerably. And uh, in the early 90s, mid 90s, and later on, Excel sort of became the de facto spreadsheet program. 